Ciao, I'm Mariana Esposito. Today on Ciao Italia, Carciofi. It's high season in the Chow Italia garden, and of course, we have the usual things that most people have. Tomatoes, zucchini, eggplant, parsley, scallions. But do you have carciofi? I don't think so. Well, maybe you do, but I do. And this is an artichoke plant. Look at this. It's so beautiful to look at with this ragged looking leaves. And these I put in in early April. And now it's time for the harvest. And you know, it's a real feat to get artichokes in a cold climate like New Hampshire, because you have to have a certain number of days where the temperature isn't too hot and it isn't too cold. It's just right. It's the Goldilocks vegetable. So this one is a little bit gone because it's not tight anymore. It's gonna, it's gonna just evolve into a beautiful, beautiful purple flower called a thistle because artichokes are part of the thistle family. But if you come down here with me to this plant, let's look at this one. Now this is a little better because here we have the side shoots you see, these baby artichokes. I could harvest that now and there would be no thorny spikes inside, no hairy interior. And this one too. But this one I should harvest because it's starting to tell me that it needs to go into the pentola, the pot. So I'm gonna come right down here to the gumbo. The gumbo means the stem. I'm gonna take that one and the baby artichoke just to show you the difference. Get that off. Okay, so this is the gumbo, the stem. Most people would just whack that off and throw it away, but not the Italians. Oh no, if you just give this a little peel underneath this pale looking skin is a beautiful vibrant green color that's tender wonderful to eat. And the baby artichokes, you don't even have to cook. You can just cut those up raw and use them in a salad. There are lots of ways to use artichokes and they are a beloved vegetable in Italy, especially Rome. So now you and I need to go Nella Cucina where I'm going to show you what you can do with carciofi. <music> artichokes this year in my garden was a real treat. I have to thank my husband Gaetano because he has the green thumb. It's not so easy to do to grow artichokes because they need a certain amount of days with temperatures that hover about 55. But anyway here they are and in Italian they're called carciofi, carciofi and they are a beloved vegetable especially in Rome. So if you don't have a garden, you don't have, you haven't grown your own, you're going to the grocery store to buy artichokes. This is the globe artichoke. This is the variety that we grow here in the States. In Italy, they grow a Romanesco type and several other varieties that are absolutely thornless and chokeless. But you see here, we have those little thorns and inside there is a hairy choke. So what do you do when you get artichokes home? Well, we want to stuff these whole. So these are going to be whole stuffed artichokes. So show, let me show you what I do. First of all, you wash them. And then I use a vegetable peeler to trim that stem. A lot of people take that stem right off and throw it away. But you know, it's really tender and it's delicious. So if you just take the outer part of the stem off, you'll have this beautiful green looking interior and then you can just trim that. So I'm going to cook them with the stem on, but then when I go to stuff them, I'm going to take that stem off and just keep it separately and either use it in a salad or with other vegetables. So once you have that done, then you have to take out the first couple uh, layers of these leaves because they're pretty tough. So I take out about two layers. I don't take all of them off because there's a lot of value in those leaves. You can eat them. You can eat the interior. I like to dip them in butter, uh, which is my favorite way to have them. So I wouldn't take all of these leaves off just to get to the heart, which is in the very center of the artichoke. So about two, two layers. 
and that you can put in your compost. Once you do that, then you want to trim those ends. So you have to take off all of those little thorns. You know, some people have a great fear of dealing with artichoke chokes because they're afraid that they're going to get, uh, you know, get injured. <laughs> I suppose you could if, if you weren't careful. But just use a scissors and go all the way around to trim off those, those little um, pinchers, those little... Okay, so that looks good. And then when we get to the top, I just take a knife and I cut off about a quarter of an inch down. Okay, so that's all going in my compost so that next year I can get more artichokes. Okay, so now we have a trimmed, cleaned artichoke. But we still have to deal with the choke. And here's my trick. Don't do it raw. Partially cook the artichoke first. All right, so now that I've loosened up the artichoke, how am I going to get that choke out without ruining this? Because I want to stuff this hole. I put them in a bowl of water into which I've squeezed a couple lemons. See? You do that and you let them sit in there for about 20 minutes or so. That's going to help with the color. I mean, they are going to turn a little grayish because that's the way artichokes are. But if you put a little lemon in the water, it'll help the color stay a little bit better. So once they're soaked like that, well, then what you do is you get a pot of water going on the stove. I'm going to add some salt, about a tablespoon or so, and the artichokes. There they are. We put the top back on, and we're going to cook these for about five minutes. And while they're cooking, why don't we make the filling? And some breadcrumbs, fresh breadcrumbs, of course. We're going to chop up some anchovy, anchovies in olive oil. I drain them off really well. They're really drained of their oil. And these just give nice added flavor, I think, to the stuffing. You don't like anchovies, you're just going to leave this out. So in go the anchovies. We are going to want some cheese. And here we have some beautiful fior di latte mozzarella cheese. So we want to dice this up. It's a very soft cheese. This is what's known as a uh, as I said, a pasta filata cheese. This is a, a fresh cheese that is made from cow's milk. And it's used a lot in different kinds of Italian cooking, especially in the south of Italy. All right, there's the mozzarella. And now we have a little bit of the Pecorino Romano. You know that is sheep's milk cheese. Put some of that in. We're going to add some parsley. So we want flat leaf Italian parsley, about two tablespoons, I would say. Because, you know, artichokes have a, an enzyme in them called cinnarin. And cinnarin has kind of like a, a Swedish uh, taste to it. And that's why it's often difficult to pair artichokes with any kind of wine, because there's that aftertaste. All right, so there's that. And then we want a little bit of olive oil. So here we have capers that were in salt. If you buy them in salt, you're going to have to rinse them off, get off the excess salt. We're just going to give them a slight chop. This gives a little kind of uh, vinegary flavor. That goes in. Mix all of this together. This is going to be our stuffing for our artichokes. And just to gild the lily a little bit more, why don't we add a little squeeze of lemon? Lemon never hurt any dish. So in goes the lemon. 
And I think we need just a smidge more of olive oil to moisten that a little bit. So that's going to be enough for four artichokes. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to check on those artichokes. All right, so they are just partially cooked because they're going to finish off in the oven. We're going to bake them at 350 degrees for about 35 minutes or so. But if I wanted them fully cooked, boiled, then I would know they're cooked by pulling on one of these leaves. And if it just came off without a struggle, I would know that that artichoke is cooked. But because we're going to bake these, we're only partially boiling them. But I just wanted to stick my fork right into the stem there, and I know that that is tender. So now I'm going to take these out, and I'm going to put them on some paper, because I want them to drain of their excess water. Because I'm not going to be able to handle these until they are cool. So what you can do to speed up that process is to put them in a big bowl of ice water. And here is the last one. Turn off the heat. Okay. So here they are. Let me show you what I'm talking about in terms of the stem. So they're very hot right now, so we cannot do anything, but let me just take one. You see, I can just stick my fork right through that stem now. Well, that's very tender. I'm going to take that off right now on all four of them. And what am I going to use that for? Well, I'm going to put it in stir fry. I'm going to add it to pasta. I'm just going to put a little bit of butter with it and eat it separately because I want these to stand up right now in my, my pan. So you take that gombo off, but you save it because that is really, really good. So check the artichokes. Make sure that they stand upright. If they don't, well, then you want to do a little trim job on the stem. Okay. Let's do this one. Sometimes they're just a little lopsided looking, but that's part of their character. And let's do this one. Okay, so there are the four beautiful artichokes. We're going to turn them upside down to get that excess water out. And when they're cool enough to handle, we're going in for the choke. <laughs> I'm just waiting for them to cool down. But meanwhile, I have a great idea. You know the gambo, that stem? It just came to me. Duh. I'm going to put it right in the filling. So I'm just going to slice it up. It doesn't have to be anything special. You see how nice and tender that is? Why should we waste it? I'm going to put it right into that filling. And this one too. Take that little part off. It's no good. Okay, so I'm going to just add that. I'm just going to dice it up a little bit. That way we haven't wasted anything. You could also, you know, use this in a, a vinaigrette in a salad. That would be nice too. So there it goes into our mixture. Okay. I want to give this now a little bit of pepper, a little grinding of black pepper. You know, if you wanted to, too, you could use mint. Mint with artichokes is very common. All right, so now I'm going in for the choke. So here they are. They're draining, you see. And now we have to take out this center part. So you want to kind of like open the artichoke up, see? Because as you open it, you'll notice that the, these inner leaves here, they're a lot lighter than the outer leaves. And you can try pulling this out at that point. So you can try taking it out with your fingers if you have asbestos hands like I do. Okay? Just pulling that inner part out, but keeping the artichoke still whole. So now I'm really down to where I want to be. So now I want to use a spoon to go in there and dig more out. Okay? 
that little purple area down there because this is where my filling is going to go. So I want all that cleaned out without collapsing the artichoke. And it is messy. It's a messy thing to eat, but you know what? It's delicious. So now I'm really down to the hairy part. Yep. See all that stuff? Yeah. It's a mess, but... So see? Nice container, huh? So let's stuff one, and then we will stuff another one. So you take some of this nice mixture, you open it up right into the hollow of that artichoke, pack it in. See? Now, you know, a lot of times you do this with meat stuffing, or you do it just with breadcrumbs, mint, and garlic, and that, and if you did it that way, you would put it in between the leaves. And so when you went to take the leaves off, you would have that wonderful flavor. So that looks like it's about right, because i got to save some for the other three. You see how beautiful that is? Look. It's a picture. Okay, so let me get this out of the way. So one more time. So this is what came out of those four artichokes. You see that? It's going in the compost heap. But here's that hairy part I'm telling you about. You gotta get all of that out. Otherwise, it doesn't taste very good. So here are our artichokes. And I'm going to put them in a pot with a little water, about a half a cup of water. Sometimes I add white wine, but today I'm just doing water. And I put them in standing upright, of course. My oven is on preheated at 350 degrees. I drizzle the top with a little bit of olive oil. And these are going to cook, I would say, about 30, 35 minutes. When we can just yank one of those leaves off very easily without it tugging, we're golden. Top goes on, we're going in. And next up, drowned artichokes. So now we're going to make something called drowned artichokes or carciofi affogati. That's how they're called in Italian. And so what I've done is I did the same type of prep I did to the whole artichokes that were stuffed. But now I cut the artichokes in half and I'm cutting them into half again. So you take a whole artichoke and cut it in, clean it, cut it into quarters. So we're going to be putting these in some chicken stock. And that's where the drowned part comes from. So artichokes that are cooked in chicken stock or chicken broth. So there are the pieces. I'll put them back in the bowl and get the other things going for this. So this is a great side dish, by the way. So then we need some garlic. So all we really want to do is put that in, either sliced or just smash two cloves of garlic and leave it like that because that's going to go in our olive oil. And then you want some olives. And here you have options. If you want to use Cherignola olives, that's fine. If you want to use a black olive, that's okay too. Whatever you can find. But don't use olives in a can because they really have no flavor. They don't simulate the flavor of a true olive in brine. So just give them a coarse chop. This is going to be part of our sauce. Okay, that goes back in the bowl. One for me. Very good. Okay, and then we want capers. Capers. These are the unopened bud of a plant that grows in the Mediterranean and all these craggy walls, rocky places. It has a very sour taste to it, but it's very much in 
the Mediterranean diet. So you can either get capers in brine, in which case you just have to drain them out of the brine, or you could get capers in salt, and then you will have to rinse them really well, unless you like a really salty taste. So there are the capers. And then with this, we also want to have some fresh parsley. So there's about a tablespoon of fresh parsley. And then some dried oregano. Look how beautiful this little bunch is. So you just take it off the stem like that. See, this is the one herb I really like to use dried, but everything else fresh. So as much as you want, I would say a good teaspoon. If you're using fresh, you could use more. Dried has more of an intense flavor. So that looks to be about enough. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to put that right in here with my parsley because that can all go together. All right, now we are ready to put these artichokes into some olive oil and garlic. Usually just push on it with my spoon just to get it soft in the oil. And really this is just a very simple sauce that's going to be created with the uh, chicken broth that we're going to put in a little later because the chicken broth is really going to evaporate and so the sauce is going to concentrate down with the herbs and the olives and the and the capers. So once you start smelling that garlic you know that it's time to put in the artichoke. So you just put them in, cut side down. Make sure that you've dried them off otherwise they're going to be spitting water and that could be dangerous. Okay, they just fit. So five minutes later, we'll check them. All right, so about five minutes have gone by. We're going to sprinkle the olives around the capers. Mm. I can't wait to eat this. The herbs. At the end I'm going to give it a little bit of salt and pepper but not until I'm, they're done. And now the broth. So you're going to cook this for about 30 or 35 minutes. You want most of this liquid to reduce down. And it's just going to fit. Okay. So you put the top on. Set the table. 35 minutes later, you have carciofi affogati. There they are, Neapolitan stuffed artichokes. Remember, we hollowed out the artichoke choke, and then we filled the whole artichoke with a mixture of cheese and egg and spices and breadcrumbs, filled the artichokes and baked them in the oven. And they're all ready to eat, and actually, it's like a complete meal. And then we made carciofi affogati, meaning drowned artichokes. And that's because we cooked the artichokes in chicken broth, and we flavored that with olives and capers and oregano. And it's just delicious by itself, or with a grating of pecorino cheese over the top. And until I see you Nella Cucina again, I'm Mariana Esposito. Ciao!